gang. I had a few of you email me and whatnot and say they'd like to see this handle made. So I thought, why not? Because I don't make any videos anyway. So I started here. I just I cut myself a one inch piece of hard maple that'll be dead center of the handle. That'll give me something to uh, glue that beaver into. And then I found two pieces of oak, so I spaced it out to there. Then I found another piece. I think this is oak. I don't think it's ash. doesn't matter. That's going to go on there. I'm going to glue that onto there. Then I found this really nice piece of chatoyance in it. I don't know. Maybe it's quilted maple. I'm not sure. It's pretty nice. And that'll go on to there, and then I'll turn it all down to about a 16 inch for that beaver. And here's where I'm going to dig out. Let's do this now. I got this ready. This is the decal transfer stuff. I found for anybody at scroll saws, if you don't want to mark up your wood from the glue, when you put your uh, stencil on or pattern, whatever, I use this stuff that you can buy it by the roll. It's uh, like the Cricut machines in that you cut your diagram, you cut your decal, and you stick it onto this. This is your backer. Because that other stuff that they sell exactly that is expensive. You can buy a whole roll of this for like thirty dollars, and it's a giant roll of this sticky stuff. And that way, all you gotta do is spray this. And you don't have to worry about getting any stains off your wood. Boy, I spent a lot of time getting them stains off. Let's see. I need a little room to work here. And then glue it down, let it dry, and I'm going to cut out these individual pieces. And I'm going to cut out a piece here and glue these down in and then pour it full of clear resin then I'm going to turn the whole thing down round. I might do a little fancy scroll work on the edge but I, I don't know because I don't know maybe not. So I'm going to glue these in all separate pieces. I'm going to cut them out on my scroll saw and they'll get glued into here somewhere. So that doesn't get pasted on. I'm gonna, I I got to cut a hole all the way through this, and they're actually going to get glued on to this. I hope that works. Anyway, let this dry up. Uh, not too much to show right yet, but I can get. Let's get this on, get it clamped, and then maybe we can. Start turning it in a day or so. Between oak and hard maple, it surely shouldn't break. Because I know my beavers, I put a lot of stress, but there are a lot of stress behind them. That's why I ordered that other part to go deeper into this. That won't go nowhere. Yeah, my new wood shop, I'm filled up already. How do you like my work? i got to use my table saw for a workbench. Something, huh? All right. Here. Let's get this glue down here. I run it through my planer. It's nice and square. Now to keep this from rocking out of me. Quite a treat. Let's see. Let's get one on each end, maybe for starters. I 
this are better than nothing. Try to. That's close enough. I'm gonna turn it down anyway, right? Right. Clamp the bazooie out of this thing. Still, I wonder. Yeah, I use these cheapies up here. Yeah. Paper towel. Then. I'll get it off. That ain't gonna hurt me. Ah. Just let that and somewhere I'll guess in the middle. I said about sixteen. Oh, there's twenty six. What's that? Thirteen to the center. There's the center. Center of this is what? Nine. So it goes from here. To there, maybe? Somewhere. Nope. Alright, now cut, like I said, I'm going to cut about an inch and a quarter out of here, glue it on to the other side, cut these out and glue them in. So, we'll be back sometime tomorrow when all this stuff dries. And I have another thing I'm going to start on that I'm sharing, but I can't tell you exactly a friend of mine, she's a taxidermist. She's won all kinds of awards. She's from down south. And uh, she's won several awards, first place. And she asked me to be part of a scene she's making, a skit, whatever you call them. And she's going to do a turkey, and she asked me if I would want to do the, the wood part of this scene. And that's an honor. So as I go, I'm going to be taping that, too, when you see what I'm going to make. I've got a ton of hours trying to figure out how I'm going to do this, and you guys are going to like this. So I will start taping that, too. Um, that's down the road. I got some cherry from the uh, lumber yard this morning. He gave it to me. All this nice cherry. It's, it's pretty nice. It's not bad. It's all killed and dried. So, give me something to work with. So anyway, I'm going to lay this out and I'll cut it out. This stuff is hard. And uh, when I come back, we'll glue it on the other side of this one like we did here. And then we'll be almost ready to turn it down. 
Okay. We'll be back tomorrow. Hi, folks. Well, I worked a little bit more on this handle, and I'm just going to have to show you little snippets here as I go, because it just, the, the video would be way too long, so I'm just going to have to do it in pieces like this. Sorry about that, but this is the other side of the handle. It's about a 28 piece of uh, beautiful maple. It's got the quilted look, I don't know what they call it. But, and I got this roughly, it, that maple is so hard, my scroll saw, I broke three blades on that. So I've got to try to run a, oh, a router blade, a router bit up through here to clean this up. I don't want it looking like that. So anyway, I did get these black walnut cut out. And that's just the paper that from the pattern. They were am I here? I can't do this. But they are black walnut. I gotta peel that paper off and sand them up. But they will, just to show you, they will lay down in here. Somehow. They will lay down in there. Jeez, it's hard to get them in there. Anyway, you get the idea. They'll lay down in there and say axe wood paste. And, and uh, then I'll fill the rest. That's irritating. Then I'll fill the rest up with a clear resin. So that's what I'm doing so far today. And I just got my mail, so I might as well show this. I got the other part of the beaver came in today. So now I've got a little something to stick in this handle. See, here's what, how it came. That's two and a half inches. That's all the longer it is. So I had this made. The guy didn't knurl it for me, so he did a nice job knurling it. So now I've got six, seven inches to glue down into this. And all it does is, I can't do this with one hand, but... So slip down in there. Obviously, you tighten down the quarter inch set screws, and then the handle will be inside this. So, this will go where am I here? This is very right in there. And this is going to make one mean tool, I'll tell you. And if you ever did want to take it out, all you have to do is loosen up those two set screws and slide this right out. But it came out pretty nice, so. I've got almost $220 invested in this tool, so somebody's going to love it, though, so that's all that matters. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that. It came in just half hour ago. Pretty nice. So I'll work on this a little bit more, and that's it for now. See you later. Bye. Well, same day. Just got all the sides put together. And every time I have something to do with resin. I got all my letters glued in there and I just poured that resin and the only thing I can figure with that mess is there was moisture in the wood, in the letters. Now, I just think I did all that work for nothing. Got all the sides glued up, ready to turn, squared up. And this mess now. So, I'm hoping it'll turn out. Once I get to turning it, I'll turn most of that out. But, um, I don't know. So, we'll see. We're going to turn it tomorrow, I hope. That resin should be hard. And see what happens. If it don't come out, it don't come out. Okay, folks, we'll show it tomorrow when I turn it. Okay, folks, I turned half of it down. I'm pretty disappointed. The handle itself, where there's just wood, is kind of beautiful. It's part uh, maple and oak. It'll make a nice handle. But where I put my name is a mess. Ta-da! What a mess. My letters moved. Well, it was a good idea.
thing I can do is I'm going to take my Dremel tool try to grind out some of this and re-pour it with resin and see if I can clean up some of it. But I'm not going to get all of it. That's impossible because it's a mess. But the, wood's, the wood itself is beautiful. Make it. So, hey, it's in your workshop. I mean, it's my company. I wish it would have came out better, but what are you going to do? I've never done anything like this before, but close, but maybe I could still save a little of it by refilling it in. But anyway, maybe it's half of it turned. It'll make a nice, it'll make a nice, I made it like inch and three quarters, so you got something to grab a hold of, that's for sure. But I make them big, even this beaver that I bought here from Larry, the wood wheeler, that's, that's a nice handle. That's uh, about the same size. And this is my beaver that I am giving away that I bought. i do it this way, I guess. And I just bought one of these handles. It's foam. Actually, it's not going to be as nice as the one we're making here, I don't think. But. Okay, folks. It's too hard going. I'm not going to show turning any more of this, I don't think. Maybe I'll turn it on later. I'm here alone, so I can't turn and hold the camera. But That's it. In a nutshell, I'll show you when we get some more done. And Like I said, I'm going to take the Dremel tool and drill out some of that and refill it and see what happens. I have gold leaf back there. That started to come through, but it's just too milky and now this junk, whatever it is. So that was just 400 grit. Might as well talk about my base. Oh, man, that was, I just took it up to 400, sanded it with 400. As a matter of fact, right here it is. Piece of, no, that ain't it. I don't know where it went, but it was a piece of 400 grit. And then I jumped right to my sanding paste and scrubbed it down with the sanding paste. And that's it. I haven't put anything else on it. No polish, no shellac, no nothing. That's just the sanding paste. So, okay, I'll be back. Good morning, folks. It's the next morning. And we're going to take a look to see what this resin did to my letters. It doesn't look so good after all that hard work. Ay, ay, ay. It's the only thing it could be if there was moisture in that black walnut. Oh, jeez. Well, it's going to be, I've got too much work into this already, so. Maybe it'll clear up. Maybe I can cut it down to the letters. And I have the worst luck with resin. So, I'm going to start to turn this a little bit. I'm going to shut the camera off because some of these letters might cut loose and fly out. And then I'll turn the camera back on a little bit. Alright, let's try this. Okay, folks. I turned half of it down. I'm pretty disappointed. The handle itself, where there's just wood, is kind of beautiful. It's part uh, maple and oak. It'll make a nice handle. But, where I put my name is a mess. Ta-da! What a mess. My letters moved. Well, it was a good idea. The only thing I can do is I'm going to take my Dremel tool, try to grind out some of this, and re-pour it with resin and see if I can clean up some of it. But I'm not going to get all of it. That's impossible because it's a mess. But the, woods, the wood itself is beautiful. Make it. So, hey, it's in your workshop. I mean, it's my company. I wish it would have came out better, but what are you going to do? I've never done anything like this before, but close, but maybe I could still save a little of it by refilling it in. But anyway, it's half of it turned. 
That'll make a nice, that'll make a nice. I made it like inch and three quarters, so you got something to grab a hold of, that's for sure. But I make them big. Even this beaver that I bought here from Larry, the woodwheeler, that's, that's a nice handle. That's uh, about the same size. And this is my beaver that I am giving away that I bought. And I just bought one of these handles. It's foam. Actually, it's not going to be as nice as the one we're making here, I don't think. But. Okay, folks. It's too hard going. I'm not going to show turning any more of this, I don't think. Maybe I'll turn it on later. I'm here alone, so I can't turn and hold the camera. But that's it. In a nutshell, I'll show you when we get some more done. And like I said, I'm going to take the Dremel tool and drill out some of that and refill it and see what happens. I have gold leaf back there. That started to come through, but it's just too milky and now this junk, whatever it is. So that was just 400 grit. Might as well talk about my base. Oh, man, that was, I just took it up to 400, sanded it with 400. As a matter of fact, right here it is. Piece of no, that ain't it. I don't know where it went, but it was a piece of 400 grit. And then I jumped right to my sanding paste and scrubbed it down with the sanding paste. And that's it. I haven't put anything else on it. No polish, no shellac, no nothing. That's just the sanding paste. So, okay, I'll be back. I group. Well, it's been a couple of days since I've been down here. Uh, I wanted to have this handle done for tomorrow's drawing. Tomorrow's Sunday. It's Saturday. But it's not going to be done in time. I've been in bed the last couple of days again. So, here's where we're at. I think I showed this on the last where I ended. And I am going to take some sort of and grind that out of there and refill it and hope that so what I want to do is making this any longer is I want to get this I want to get this turned down and get her done so I don't know it's pretty boring watching somebody turn but I tried my beaver but it it just chunked away at this so yeah I think I gotta get some of these round ones ordered, but the round is the way to go. Let me get this on and we'll see what we got. I, I did cut off the end and put it in the, and I turned this down and put this big, $4 for that little copper furl. Wow, ridiculous. All right, let's see what we can, let's get some of this chewed off of here. Like I said, it's going to be boring, but let's see. Be careful, because this stuff might dry. I'll tell you, I just threw this thing together. It's just cheap, cold roll steel, and it's one of my favorites. It a pretty, but it worked real well. download this video tomorrow so this will be the one that I draw on plus I get this much downloaded to update everybody I give them a little something to watch boy that stuff hurts Oh, 
My old motorcycle gloves, see if that helps. Better take a look at this. Oh, look at that. Just because the wood was wet. What a friggin' mess. Alright, well. Let's get it done here. You bored yet? This handle. Do we have any um, steel wool? Still oh. gotta drill a half inch hole down this puppy. Yeah. Well, they put them stickers on there, and that crap, you just can't get that crap off of there. Well, all right, now I'm missing. I have no idea. I'd say this is quite a bit bigger than this. Okay, I don't want to go any smaller than that. Bring it up to match this and I'm going to call it quits. taper it down and get this tapered a little bit better and just have to go
Well. something fell. Oh, what the heck? six inches. I epoxied it in. And I decided I'm going to leave it go. I can't help it. It's ugly. I'm the first one to admit it's ugly. But it doesn't feel bad and I'm not going to start all over. I think you guys will use this. I mean, it's not hurting anything. It's just, you know. Now, as soon as this dries, I am, I'm going to try this brass thing. drives me nuts. It looks like crap. Yeah, I'm going to try to at least get that a little bit shinier. And then the the actual little beaver will go right in there and you can clamp it right down. And there's your tool. And believe me, you thought, you think that's a little too much, but this got such a grab, caught on me such, so bad, it broke here, cracked it up through here, hit me in the ribs. So these do... Get rather aggressive. You've got to be careful, but I'll tell you, a lot of times where you do use have to use a bowl gouge, you'll be using this instead. Uh, yeah, I broke it clear up to here, and so they do they do grab a hold. So you got to be careful. Uh, I love them. I bought a mini one, and I bought the big one when when they first came out. But this mini one like the ones going on this. That's all you need, actually. It's, and it's great for in, inside. So you might want to keep this so you can get it, you know, hang on to it. Ignore this. All right, this one's going to be downloaded tomorrow after we uh, do the drawing for the two paste kits. We're going to have the drawing for the two paste kits at the end of this one. Sorry, fast forward it. You know, I know my stuff's boring. Uh... So the next time will be tomorrow at noon when we turn this back on and Annette will videotape the, the two winners of the pace. And then, uh, I'm not sure, it, it might be the last free drawing for a while. Our sales are going down and down and down. And they pick back up just enough to get us excited and then down, down, down. So it says 70% of America is still working. Must be that 70% aren't woodworkers. It'd be my luck. So, anyway, that's the way it goes. Uh, I'll be talking to you tomorrow. Like I said, I'm going to try to clean this up. And I'll have this all together. And I might put another coat of my wax over this. I might, I think I might put another coat of the my homemade uh, shine yes. juice. I think I'm going to put a coat on this. And then I'm going to put another coat of my polish on top of the shine juice. I think that's what I'm going to do. Another coat of shellac, buff it, and one or two coats of my polish. 
So that'll pick up the rest of it. So that's it, guys. I, I'm sorry. It was kind of a crappy video. And my handle. I'm more upset than anybody that's going to be getting this, believe me. But, yeah, when it's in your hand and you guys are turning, you're not going to know that's there. So, hey, that's a $200 item. So somebody will use it. Okay, we'll talk to you tomorrow. Hi friends, it's Sunday once again. Um, I'm going to make this video, I've been adding to it all week, so this is going to be part of the drawing video. A few people don't want to watch it, I'll understand, it's on the, the beaver hand on. Uh, you can just fast forward to the winners is all, and this is where you want to put your comment in on this video I'm making now for next Sunday. Uh, I'm not sure we're going to give away two kits next Sunday. Things have gotten even worse. But, as you've seen at the beginning of this video, I have been working on this. So, maybe next Sunday, not for sure. I don't know yet, because I'd like to get some more people joining this somehow. Uh, so, maybe we'll just give away the beaver instead, because that's going to cost me. I've already got over 200 in it, and it's going to cost me some money to ship it. So... You've already watched where I wasn't happy with the Axe Wood Paste initials. So this morning, I thought the heck with it. I took a router with a small V, 60 degree V groove bit, and I tried to eat out all the resin in between the letters. And you know that would be impossible to do it completely neat because I nicked the letters. And But I ate it all out in between. And I had a I had a thing of Millie put. It's almost hard already. So I packed it with Millie put. Tomorrow morning I'm going to turn it down, and let's hope at least it's still not going to look great, but it, maybe it'll look better than it was with the Millie put in between axe wood paste. So that's what that is. So anyway, I got that in. That ain't going nowhere. I got the the little beaver. Uh, Hold it in there, so if you ever want to do want to take it out, just loosen them up, quarter inch, slide it out. I took mine off there. I don't like this, but some people do, so, you know, you can leave it on. But, I'll tell you what, it's a heck of a, it's a heck of a, and it's, it's pretty comfortable, actually. It's a heck of a tool. So, whoever wins it's going to, you know. It's, it's well built. So, it's the best I could do. I tried again this morning to get the rest of that stain out. That's a permanent stain in that copper. So, is it anything I did? So anyway, that's it. Tomorrow morning I'll take it down. I'll put another coat on it. And see if this is any better. I'm hoping it looks a little better. So there you go. That's a monster. It's, uh... Oh, I don't know. There's 12. There's 24. About 28. 28 inches. So, okay. Enough of that. Maybe next Sunday, maybe I'll just decide if things pick up this week. We'll just... I don't know yet. But we'll do something next Sunday. And it'll be on this video is where you want to add your comment. All right. Let's go give away two more paste kits. Click on start. And I better get a piece of paper. Who do we have? William Barto. I think he bought some too. Uh, just received my order yesterday. Headed to the shop now, he says. So... Well, now you've got a free one, William. Okay, William. Um, let's pick the second one. Oh, it's Gord Rock. Well, sorry, Gord. I didn't know he commented on that. But, we just sent him some, so I know he's going to tell me to pick another. He's in Canada. So, 
Let's pick another one. Sorry, Gord. Kent Turkow. Kent Turkow from Wisconsin. That's what he had to say. Okay, Kent. There's our two winners for this week. William Bardo and Kent Turkow. Get a hold of me. I need your address. Well, I'll have William's address. I don't know about Kent. I don't know. So that's it. Uh, comment on this one so you can be in next Sunday's. It might be the beaver. It might be two kits. I don't know yet. It might be maybe the beaver. It's time. Just get rid of it and let's do this and see what happens. Okay, folks. Get people to sign up on this thing. Or get people to order something. All right. Thank you.